I am interested to know, ladies and gentlemen, who is your favourite Candy Crush Saga player? Yeah? We've all got one, haven't we? I'll tell you mine. Mine is Nigel Mills, open brackets, politician, close brackets. He is the MP for Amber Valley, which is a constituency in Derbyshire and not the level after Lemonade Lake and before the Chocolate Mountains. <laughs> I don't know if he's a good politician or not, but I'm pretty sure that nobody's political career is helped by having a subheading on their Wikipedia page called Candy Crush Controversy. <laughs> Essentially what happened is he was in Parliament, he was in a committee meeting, and he was secretly photographed playing Candy Crush Saga instead of paying attention to whatever the meeting was actually about. For two hours. MPs hush hush candy crush, said the sun in a classic red top front page, and it wasn't long before it was exploding across all of the rest of the press. The Guardian were onto it, of course they were. The Mail were onto it, of course they were. The Express had it, of course they did. And Nigel Mills was the very image of a contrite politician. He was apologising, and of course he was promising that it would never happen again, and actually, no. Now, he was actually promising that he would try not to do it in future. <laughs> because you never know when you're going to trip and fall and find yourself playing Candy Crush Saga at work, do you? Of course, when something like this is on the front pages, the bottom half of the internet has plenty to say about it. And I like to see what the keyboard warriors of Britain have to say for themselves. I visited a dozen or more websites where this very story was being discussed, and I've taken some of the great British public's comments on this topic and turn them into something that I think of as being more beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. I've turned them into something that I like to call a found poem that I would like to perform for you now. This is a total non-story. How do I know? Because I am at work right now, and I am reading the news online, texting and playing Bubble Bubble. <laughs> it's called multitasking. <laughs> Deal with it. This man should be sacked immediately. Sacked? Sacking's too good for him. He should be fired. <laughs> I don't own an iPad, so this couldn't happen to me. But if I did, it could. <laughs> there is obviously more to this story than meets the eye. There always is. Which is more likely? An MP plays Candy Crush Saga in an important meeting and gets caught. Or the political classes collude with the press to create an advert for a game that hypnos the masses. <laughs> yeah? Let me put it another way. Shall we overthrow the government today? Sorry. I can't make it today. I'm stuck on level 342. <laughs> Think about it. Sheeple. <laughs> I can't believe you are stuck on level 342. <laughs> that one was easy. <laughs> In fairness to Nigel Mills, that meeting looked well boring. <laughs> I have been stuck on level 578 for two months now, and I play every day. It stopped being fun some time ago, <laughs> but I will not be defeated no matter what my ex-wife says. <laughs> Lol. Will people please stop calling them candies? We are British. They are sweets. <laughs> I thank you. <laughs>